All points of the compass lead to the sea. Yes, this is Brighton, new and sophisticated, old and sedate. And if I called your name, could you be my great escape? Could you be my final getaway? Take me from a life I hate. Could Hi again and welcome to PCP. It's PCP 564 and uh, this is the second uh, warm-up uh, for The Great Escape, which, uh, if you're listening to this on the day it's released, uh, is actually going on live, and uh, I'm not here. I'm, I'm there, as it were, as it were. Yes, um, yeah, 13 tracks of weird and wonderful music coming to you uh, as picked up from The Great Escape over the last 12 years uh, that we've gone, and uh, I'm hoping we'll be coming back next week or so with uh, even more wonderful stuff that we have never heard of, and neither have you either. Um, I think that's the usual sort of plan, isn't it? Yeah, that's the plan. And uh, lots of beer, lots of uh, lots of silly chuck conversation, and the occasional kebab. Hmm. Yes, it's all very good, you know. It's all very good for you. Uh, part of your five a day. Hmm. Speaking of my five a day, um, no, I don't know why I said that. Really, there's nothing to do with five a day. Anyway, this is gastronomy. I suppose that is something to do with five a day, isn't it? Because it's food, isn't it? This is gastronomy by Noisy Pots.
the rather wonderful noisy pots who we saw on a couple of occasions, uh, the first of which was um, uh, busking, busking outside the pub um, in, uh, in, Br- in Brighton. Uh, they are from uh, Prague in the Czech Republic, and you can find them at uh, noisypots.com. And as you can imagine, they use pots, uh, an awful lot of the, this stuff. So they have um, a drummer that uses sort of um, plastic, um, um, what do you call them, buckets really, I suppose you would use them, uh, buckets that are sort of contained food of some variety, uh, and then uh, various uh, pots, uh, you know, sort of uh, that you would use in cooking, um, and, a, and a guy in charge with keyboards and various stuff. Marvellous. Three of them, uh, almost like three-piece bands. There's, there's, there's something about three-piece bands. Marvellous. Anyway, uh, that was called Gastronomy, um, and that was, uh, that was fun. We found them in 2005, and we saw them twice. Uh, going back to 2008 now, uh, oh, this was a band we really enjoyed. Uh, they were in a very, very dark, dingy hole called uh, uh, The Vokes uh, on the seafront in Brighton, which is great, but it's, it is a bit claustrophobic. Um, but we saw them anyway, and they were absolutely marvellous. Drenched in reverb, this is Doves by the Black Angels.
Sailors. That was uh, Lover uh, by Dan Pyun Sun and the Sailors. And uh, Dan Pyun Sun and the Sailors come from South Korea and they were describing their uh, their, their trip on the plane from uh, from Korea to here. Um, but just before the song, and it got us all going. He, was, he wasn't very good with his English, but he was very interesting. Uh, and he, he was trying like he's hard. Um, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. And then before that, we had Doves by the Black Angels, uh, the legendary Black Angels, of course. Uh, apparently, they've been playing a, a really big set of festivals and and, uh, and shows in, the, in Brighton, and they played to approximately what sixty people, something of that nature, maybe a hundred, uh, in um, the Vox in uh, as part of the Great Exchange Festival. Uh, lovely. Anyway, you can find them at uh, theblackangels.com from uh, Austin, Texas. If you get a chance to see them, and we saw them in two thousand eight. Uh, right, moving on now to something we saw, somebody we saw in 2015 at the Spiegel tent, which was more of the uh, Spiegel, I can't even remember, there's always, there's a Spiegel tent and there's a, something else, the Spiegel hub. This wasn't the canvas one, this is this sort of, um, if you've ever, ever seen this thing, I, mean, I know it moves around the country, it's like a, a gypsy tent. Um, and it's where they do sort of circus acts and all sorts of, and they do, you know, music there as well. This is absolutely wonderful. We've got some more people we saw there, uh, following a bit later on, but this is Keston Cobbler's Club, as recommended by, uh, uh Clithers, and, uh, very much, uh, enjoyed, sir, enjoyed there as well. And a track called Your Mother. <laughs> Holding on to pass the time It's more than you can find And the laws will hold Though you will find your way around Until you hit the ground Though it's easy to bar you It's not enough to saw you in half It's just enough to laugh And there's reason to smile When you are ten feet in the sky You want to dance Well now you have your chance She's been your mother oh, 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 she's been your mother Oh, 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 oh she's been your mother oh, 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 she's been your mother Silence, there is something that you want to say That each time in your way There's a special kind of violence And it's changed the way you play the game But this time you are the Oh, she's been your mother Oh, 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 oh she's been your mother Oh, 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 oh she's been your mother That 
was uh, Your Mother by uh, Keston uh, Cobblers Club. Uh, you can find them at Keston Cobblers Club. Oh, sorry, Keston Cobblers dot club. Uh, and a track called Your Mother, uh, which is a phrase I've heard uh, as a... <laughs> It's a bit of a rude thing um, over the years, but never as a title of a track, but uh, marvellous stuff. They're from Keston uh, uh, in England, and that was, we, uh, was we, we saw them in 2015. Now, moving on to 2017, only last year, we saw this lot, A Forest of Fools. And this track is called Suggested Digestive. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, know what I mean? Looking back into the past and analysing parts of our own past, even to create 
system filled with force fed rules and boxes just to fit. Think before you make the choice to place yourself in front of a screen and then just sit. Realise you could be the one to generate what life exists. No, realise we are the ones that manifest what life consists. Instead of taking what it is through conformity's abyss, it fucking takes the piss. So my message here is clear. Dissipate that which you fear. Break the boundaries, innovate, take the wheels and make it steer because direction is our own and we're the masters of our throne. Ceremonies like this bring us together as reminders that we are not alone. Illusions of separation or disconnected degradation, I don't condone. Because the truth of the matter is, we're all connected. And this place now is our home. Absolutely wonderful. I remember watching that and Tony Man at one point looking at Mr. Clitheroe and saying, This is like dub reggae, but with it's with sort of, you know, um accordions and stuff. It, it's just it was just deliciously gorgeous. Um dub reggae, bit of rap, bit of everything thrown in. Um I remember the guy who's playing the euphonium was getting these sort of amazing sort of whoopee noises that you only get from a didgeridoo. Well I all thought you could only get them from a didgeridoo, but obviously you can get them from a euphonium as well. That was suggestive digestive by Forrester Fools. Uh find them at forresterfools.com uh, and book them if you ever have the opportunity to get them for a, for a, for a, an event in an evening. Wonderful stuff. That was from 2017. <clears throat> Moving on back to 2013. He's an even weirder band. This is a tribe called Red.
So a bit of uh, Canadian Native Americans there mixed up with some hip hop. Mm, don't get that on many shows, do you? That was Red Ridim or Ridom, uh, featuring Eastern Eagle. Uh, and that's his, presumably he's got his um, he's got in brackets his uh, uh, Native American name, which is Meek Meekwak, uh, from a tribe called Red. You can find them at tribecalledred.com from Ottawa in Canada. Uh, and they were quite amazing. I really, really enjoyed them. I think uh, Mr. Gumbler, who'd attended, uh, pissed off out the back and had a smoke because he doesn't like hip-hop that much, but I really, really enjoyed that. Right, next. Uh, from 2012, we caught up with a band called Ben Kaplan and the Casual Smokers. We caught up with them on a couple of occasions, uh, later in the pub. But first of all, we caught them on the street, and they'll have a bit of a sing-song, and we all joined in. You didn't catch our name. We're Ben Kaplan and the Casual Smokers. And we'd like to invite you to sing with us on the sidewalk. How do you feel about singing on the sidewalk? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Two people feel okay about it. <laughs> That's better than everybody feeling terrible about it. I think we can work with that. So, my friends, my new friends, my new found friends, my friends who I just found now here, and my friends who I found earlier. Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna, we're gonna ask you to, you know, join us in, uh, you know, unleashing just a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, madness buried deep inside your chest, you know? You know, the madness that you, you know, you just sort of bury it down and you don't think about it because you, you gotta be a normal, you know, regular person in society. In this, in this little territory here, this is a safe zone. You don't have to be a regular person operating in society. You can be as crazy as you want. We're giving you permission. I'd like to invite you to yell with me at the top of your lungs. And I promise you one thing. It will be almost as good as it is. But only if you really go for it. You know, you gotta really sing. So just repeat after me. Oh! All right, close. <laughs> Some of you are not taking my permission to let the madness out. I encourage you just to be crazy as you want. There's nothing holding you back. Just, you know, just let's, can we all just have one little scream together? Just like a, ah! Ah! Just, you know, let the crazy come on out and sing as loud as you can. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Where the devil was blowing coal through the smokestacks of night. Dylan's hanging on the cross, the piano was doing fine.
The amazing, the amazing uh, Ben Kaplan and the uh, Casual Smokers. Uh, you can find them at benkaplan.ca. Uh, that track was called Conduit. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's his classic sing-along track. Uh, he's from Halifax in Nova Scotia and came over with uh, the Canadians, uh, one of which was, um, you know, a tribe called Red uh, and various others that we've seen over the years. And this year we're going to the Canadian Festival as well. We always do, and it's always worth it. Ah, marvellous. Right, um, the last time we saw Ben Kaplan, we saw them in a place called the Green Door Store, which is right underneath uh, Brighton Station. It's it's good good long way down, uh, and it's um, it's got possibly the worst toilets in Brighton. Ah, yeah, it's got some saying, isn't it? It's got some saying to it. So if you want to go there, make sure you've uh, believed yourself before you go, because it's a rather lovely venue, but it's a rather horrible place to go for a wee. Anyway, this is Honing Barner on a track called dotted three two one fight <laughs>
Partiet er å fri Ble det av galskapet Apatisk i dag og gå So that was Honning Barna, which uh, is uh, Norwegian for honey children, uh, and a track called Dotid, uh, which is Norwegian for downtime. Uh, you can find them at Honning Barna, um, H O L L I N G B A R N A dot N O, from Kristiansand in Norway. Uh, we saw them in 2012. And as I said, we'd seen um, uh, Ben Kaplan at the same place, uh, the Green Door store, which is always worth checking. It's always worth checking out. It's quite next to the Albert, which is another good, good place where we saw various people uh, over the years. Right, moving on. Back to the Spiegel tent. Uh, this was a couple, uh, actually the three-piece, but I think the, the two of them are a couple, a real couple, Sherry and Reno. And uh, they are from Israel, and the track is called Let Me In.
And you might ask yourself how... Oh, thank you. You might ask yourself how he was getting those weird noises. Uh, and the answer was he was he had a... Um, what did he have? He had some sort of... I suppose it could be streamer wire, the sort of thing he used on a, on a streamer or a, or, a, or a lawnmower these days, one of these rotary lawnmowers. But it was attached to uh, what could only be described as one of those handheld um, fans that you get, you know, when you sort of sat on a hot train or a hot bus or whatever, and you've got a little handheld fan. Something attached to that. And he was, he was banging away on um, an old um, violin, which was electrified. So uh, you don't hear that very often either, and that was that was absolutely fa fantastic and very unusual. They were from Israel, uh, and they probably still are. Uh, Sherry and Renault is where you'll find them. Soundcloud.com forward slash Sherry. That's uh, E R I E uh, dash and dash Renault R E W N O, and that was a track called "Let Me In." Now, it wouldn't be a, 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 a great escape if you hadn't gone and seen some Australian bands. We started off in the last podcast with uh, our friends uh, Velociraptor, but this is another band that I, well, I'd like to have seen more of. I'd like to have seen they got a bit further. They were great, uh, but they haven't sort of made it much, much, much further, which is a bit of a shame. They're from Mildura in northern Australia, which has, I gather is a fairly remote place. They're called Jackson Firebird. They're only a two piece, and this is 411 Posse Track. <laughs>
from that uh, two-piece band, one playing drums, one playing guitar, uh, sort of uh, milieu, uh, put together originally, by, of course, by the White Stripes, but of course by very, very different people now, including um, Royal Blood, who are based mostly out of Brighton. Uh, that was Jackson Firebird uh, from Mildura in northern Victoria in Australia, and you can find them at jacksonfirebird.com. saw them in 2012. Right, moving on to Mystic Braves that we saw last year, 2017, uh, and they are from Los Angeles in the US, and this is a track called Desert Island. <laughs> Mystic Braves, uh, a bit of uh, psychedelia, rather like that. Uh, Mystic Braves is where you'll find them. Mysticbraves.com is where you'll find them from Los Angeles. Uh, very, very good it was. That's Mystic um, as in M Y S T I C, uh, if you were unsure. Uh, back to. Oh, this is a nice one. This is, uh, this is uh, a lady. Um, who we saw in a couple of locations. The first time we were sort of absolutely drenched. We went to see a place called The Hob, which is a single arch under the road. On the on the, uh, the seafront of Brighton, uh, it's a very small little club, and uh, she played a blinding set. And then we went to see her again a bit later on. Uh, and I went up to her at one point, and on, at the end of the first set, and I said how nice it was to have such new, new fresh, new, young, young blood uh, playing. And then I realised a little bit later on that not only uh, was she an, an ex member of the Slits at one point, uh, who we want to see, but we it went to see at one point and uh, in The Great Escape uh, a few years before, but never quite got in. Um, but also she was um, the the daughter of uh, a singer from um, uh, Boy George's band. Boy George is in fact her, um, her godfather. And her dad was Paul Cook from the Sex Pistols. What an idiot I am, eh? What an idiot. This is Holly Cook and a track dedicated to the founding member of the Slits, Ari Up.
That was Ari Up by Holly Cook. Uh, you can find out more about her at Holly Cook. That's Holly uh, with H O L L I E Cook dot com. Um, very nice it was dating to, to based out of Brighton and singing about Ari Up, the uh, recently deceased uh, lead singer from the Slits, of course. And of course, they have a connection with um, the uh, the Pistols as well, as Ari Up was the daughter of. Um, the lady that um, is married to Johnny John Lydon, uh, of course, from um, the uh, the uh, Sex Pistols. So there, what a connection! What a connection! And I just completely missed it and wondered and said, "Hello, oh, it's nice to see some fresh blood." <sighs> what an idiot! Anyway, speaking of fresh blood, we saw this lady, and I wouldn't be leaving you on, on a podcast without playing this lady. We saw her twice. The first was in our, in our first uh, ever one uh, when we were there in 2007, and she came back in 2014, and we were there to see her. Of course we were. This is Lay Low, and the most amazing piece of bluesy uh, stuff you'll never get. You'll never, you'll never get to hear your eyes on the... You hear your... What am I saying? Never get to hear your, with your ears outside of Iceland, but you did, because I'm, oh, I'm just talking bollocks here. What am I saying? I have no idea. This is Mojo Love by Lalo. See you soon, folks. Uh, uh, next, we're going to do, uh, this is an old song, and we're going to play this for these gentlemen here. As for a song, and this one is called Mojo Love. They say their whelks are as big as sausages and their cockles as fat as mice. 